Hey you guys, this is Quill Chan and welcome back to my channel. Ah, yes, you're probably wondering, Quill Chan, why do you sound like you have a cold or are dying? <clears throat> if you were here for my previous video, I do have a slight cold. Actually, in that video, I completely lost my voice and was whispering to you guys. But today, I have it back just in time for my Monday videos. So today, we are talking about why I hate people. Number four. And, okay, let me, let me get something straight. This Why I Hate People series is not why I hate people specifically, as in the human beings. I hate certain personality traits, which can often be confused with why, like, people, as in actual people. But it wouldn't really work if I said why I hate personalities. Because then it's like, then you're liking the person. No, because the person has that personality, I don't like them. Not really hate them, but the word hate gets more views. So, I actually have a structure to this one. They're not going to be rambling. We're going to be playing a little game called Biotech. <clears throat> and as you know, the only thing I can really do right now is screen record and play games. So, um... Biotech is a really cool game, by the way, not sponsored, not ever sponsored, because I'm not that cool. Wait, what happened? What is- what? No! I have to start over. This sucks booty. Okay, so I have to start over, apparently. I was on level 6, but apparently not. It's probably because I'm recording- but, yeah, so we're going to talk about relationships. I don't, I don't want to play that. So we're going to talk about relationships and why it kind of sucks to suck. Like, actually, it, it sucks. This is the literal my my thoughts on why relationships suck they suck because there's no point it, well not because there's no point there's a point to a relationship it's just that <clears throat> sometimes like in a relationship it it doesn't go it goes well but it doesn't go well and it doesn't turn out how you want it to. What I mean by that is it'll it'll go smoothly, but it won't go smoothly. Actually, I don't remember what I said in the first like three minutes. I'm I've been rambling. But um so we're gonna talk about what happened, why I was gone for so long. That all that. So we're going to start with a story. And in this story, I'm going to change names, the names of two people, so it will keep their identities confidential, and also because they did not consent to me telling the story. But it's, it's not on, technically, it's not on them to tell, for, to ask, for me to ask, because I was a part of it, so... But anyway, yeah, not gonna release names. Okay, <clears throat> so basically, uh, my boyfriend at the time, we'll call him Jim. Jim uh, well, he was He has, he was my boyfriend for uh, one year and exactly 11 days. So, you know, big deal. So, <clears throat> in this like one year and 11 days, you know, we had fun times, Jim and I. And, 
um, one day in October, uh, Jim was going to go study with a girl. Let's say her name is Layla or Leia, whatever, Lay Layla. And he studied with Layla. So I thought that was fine. I was like, yeah, that's totally fine. He's just going to study with Layla. And um, what, ha what ended up happening with that was he didn't, he did study with her, but, um, two days later, on the 19th, but one day before my birthday, he decided to tell me that he, we needed to take a break, and he did it in such a way that it hurt me a lot, because he basically just said we need to take a break, and hung up the phone, and wouldn't talk to me, and it hurt me. So, um, basically, Jim was, um, not talking to me, and then I finally got a hold of Jim, got a hold of him to talk to him, because, you know, relationships are about talking, all relationships are about talking. So, Jim and I were talking, and I was like... Yo, my dude, Jim. Um, so why do we need to take a break all of a sudden? Like, this is, this is weird. Like, you, you hadn't mentioned, like, needing to take a break ever. You hadn't, like, mentioned any of that to me at all. <clears throat> and... Basically, what he said to me was that um, some things happened, things occurred, um, and basically, him and Layla, when they were studying, they were apparently playing with some rope because, you know, my uh, ex-boyfriend, Jim, knows rope ties and so <clears throat> I was like okay and he was like yeah yeah we we kind of uh yeah and so I was like why didn't you just tell me this earlier like it would have been Gucci fresh and fine and we wouldn't be in the Hate, I wouldn't be hating you right now. And he was like, well, I wasn't thinking about that. I was like, yeah, obviously you weren't. So I was like, what's your excuse? He's like, there is no excuse, really. It's just that it kind of happened. I was like, okay. So all he told me, all Jim told me was that they kissed. <clears throat> and so I was like, okay, you know, I can trust Jim. Jim's, Jim's a trustworthy guy. And so, you know, in my thinking that I can trust Jim because he's trustworthy, um, I couldn't actually trust Jim because one day I was talking to Jim's girlfriend, now girlfriend, Leia, because he decided that after immediate, almost immediately after breaking up with me, uh, which happened, which the breakup actually happened, um, about a week later from the 19th, he decided that a week later from that he was going to get with Leia. Now, Jim and Leia, at this point, had not been dating for very long, but I had asked Leia, you know, about some things, because she was my friend, and I was like, you know, I can ask her about things, but I didn't, like, ask her about any details. So, Jim and I were talking later that night about, um you know, the thing that happened and, um, what Leia and I were talking about. And Jim decided that, you know, we had talked about what actually transpired that day when Leia and I had not even talked about that yet. Like, we didn't, because we're not, you know, we're not friends like that. We're not Gucci fresh and close. We're just kind of 
you know, living our extra lives separately because we don't know each other like that. And he just assumed. And so then he got himself shot because he told me exactly what happened. And that is, he basically did <clears throat> the not okay with, you know, a girl while I was with him. And I was like, what? Boy, did one year and 11 days not mean jack to you? Like, that's not Gucci. Like, not Gucci at all. And it's not cute. And it, it's not, it's not fresh. It's not fine. It's not, it's just not cute. So, um, in saying that, um, Jim was all like, oh, shoot, she didn't tell you? I was like, I didn't ask, so she didn't tell. And he was like, shoot, well, I just messed up. So upon doing this, he was like, please don't tell anyone. And I was like, why? Why shouldn't I tell? And he was like, because we're like friends, don't tell. So I was like, okay, but you have to promise that you're going to tell people like his mom and um let's just say no no he did not tell his mom because he's a child and he can't do anything himself well that's my opinion at the moment but basically he didn't tell his mom he didn't tell anyone even though he said he would because you know that's how that's what people are supposed to do when they've messed up. They're supposed to get corrective help in pretty much any way that they can. Oh, frick. I hate this game. So, I don't understand why he didn't tell. Well, I mean, also, I guess I do understand. But I really don't. Why is five kicking my butt? Why? I, I, I beat five in my first one. I don't know. But, yeah. I, he's, like, I thought it was all Gucci fresh and fine. And then, like, no. <clears throat> but, like, my thing is, like, uh, it tripped me up so hard. Because I was like, dude, I told you things that people... Not even my, not even my best friend knows, and you were supposed to be that dude, that boy, you, like, ah, uh, and it hurt, because, like, I did tell him things that, you know, normal people don't just tell people, because it's not, they're not things that you want to hear honestly i mean it depends on who you are depends on if you like that but i mean it's not they're not things that you'd want to hear and they're not cute and it's not acceptable for someone to be to do that to just rip your life out of your chest because they think, you know, it's fine because, you know, they're not hurting. I mean, it's not fine because there's no feasible or plausible way <clears throat> that you're going to be able to do that to a person without personal repercussions on your part and it was it was cheating technically unless you're my mom and you're like dating doesn't count you're not and you're not married so it's not cheating but it does affect how a person thinks about other people especially when you go from an IRL which is an in real life IRLR, which is an in real life relationship, as in like touching and feeling them and actually kissing them, or to a LDR, which is a long distance relationship. 
So, um, I'm going to guess he thought that I wouldn't find out. And I told him that I would find out anything, everything out eventually. Like, don't lie to me. I will find things out. And so now he, he didn't think that people would find out. But I got to the point where I was getting sick because I was stressed because I was like, ah, I need to tell someone besides the people that live in my house. So I told my best friend. And then he told my best friend, who I consider a sister. So he told my um, BFFL. And she told... <clears throat> um, other people, and now, like, I told more of my friends in my tiny friend circle, they're telling people in their friend circle, because this has to stop, I don't want him to feel like he's winning. Okay, and you're like, how, how is it gonna help if you're, um, not, uh, wait, how is it going to help if he's, if you're ridiculing him? Well, because he thinks that he's sly and he thinks that he's off the hook. When he isn't. Here's how I know he thinks he's off the hook. So, uh, my best friend was telling me that he doesn't act like anything had ever transpired. He doesn't act like um, anything ever happened, and I'm losing this one, Ooh, I'm gonna have to start over, and he's walking around, like, you know, nothing ever happened, when uh, I know for a fact things happen, he knows for a fact that things happen, now my friends and his friends know that for a fact things did transpire, and that's why he is where he is right now. That's why he's with who he's with right now. So, when it's a point that I can get his friends in on this and, like, talking to him, that's that's when you know that, like, he, you, you frilled up big time because... <sighs> Think about it. Okay, so you're you're a human being. I'm why am I losing this? <laughs> ah you're a human being. You know, you do something bad, then you just break up with you you land a relationship. You cheat, you break up with a person immediately for no reason to their knowledge. You guys were best friends before, so you think you can be best friends again. <clears throat> you start talking to the person that they're dating, they give you information that, you know, you just kind of randomly asked about. And then you go back to your best, you go back to your friend who was your boyfriend. And then they're like, Oh, so you talked about that? Well, let me give you more details. You see where I'm going with this? It's not cute that only after I had talked to his new girlfriend, Leia, Jim decided that he was going to tell me what actually transpired. Um, yeah, that's not cute. And honestly... If I were to be that kind of petty person, but I'm not. I'm not going to be that petty person. If I, but if I were to, I, I would be, but that's kind of rude. So I'm not going to. I hate this game. They always have me spread too thin. Maybe I just, uh, but like, I'm not going to be that petty kind of person because that's just rude. 
but also like you break my heart I break your neck if you know what I mean so that's a thing and you know what else is a thing um trying not to like murder him all the time because it's a process and it's too difficult for me to handle honestly like it's hard I don't know why this one's beating me in my butt but like oh it's five <laughs> But it's hard. It honestly is, if I'm going to be completely honest. And, oh wait, what am I doing? I need to go down here. I'm scared. But, like, it, it sucks that, you know, that happened and it hurts that it did. Of course, you know, there's no way uh, that I would want to imagine, you know, coming back to, go, I'm going back to him in that situation, in that relationship, because it would just make me think, oh, well, he's just going to do the same thing again. And that's when awareness comes in. It's like, okay, so you make everyone aware of what happened. You make everyone aware of things that had transpired because awareness is key, especially when it is something to the nature that of that of like getting a new fancy shiny human being because human beings are terrible in their personality traits and it's all about how you raise your human being specifically and honestly I was raised in a house where it was you have to be true you have to you have to um, you have to do things in a certain in a certain demeanor in a certain order if you know what I mean because like if you don't you're you're gonna ultimately <clears throat> fail at life because <clears throat> okay so my my parents were like if you're not gonna be truthful to your family if you're not if you're not able to tell your family that things have transpired things have gone down that you're not you know the best then how can you make it in the world why is this being so hard why but like you're not gonna make it in the world and I honestly stand by that a hundred percent um, you know, I honestly just try and keep it a hundred with you guys. I try and keep it a hundred with my friends. But like sometimes, girl, like it's 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 hard because they're they're not always doing so hot over there, you know. They're sometimes just gonna be the times when you are the only one um, that has their back against the wall while everyone else is doing Gucci fresh and fine. <coughs> and yeah, that's gonna happen. And honestly, it's happened to me and it's happening so fast and it's happening a lot right now. Especially Especially, especially under the circumstances that I'm under right now. Like, 
being Gucci fresh and fine is all good and all, but also like y you have to realize when it's one when it's too much and two when you just are overwhelmed with the circumstances <clears throat> that occur and that transpire and honestly I got to the point of being overwhelmed after I talked to my um, church mentor and basically <clears throat> after talking to her I realized that like I can't fight a battle that is in Texas on my own. That's not a thing that can happen because of where I live. Because of just because of where I live. I live in Indianapolis, Indiana. I don't live in Sherman, Texas anymore. <clears throat> so there is no possible way that I can go and you know, come fight this on the front lines of a field that I haven't seen, I haven't heard anything about it in a long time, as in a real long time. So I had to have people fight for me on my front on the front lines and they honestly are, and that's Gucci, fresh, and fine, because I realized that, like, I needed that help. I needed that support. And you're like, how, how does that work? Like, how? And it just does. It, it helps because you're not flooded with the issue by yourself you have people to help you through it you have people you have people that are going to that are going to be there with you while you're going through it and you're not going to have to fight this battle alone which is essentially all i was doing was fighting a battle against a guy who is trying to get away with it on my own. And I was like, no, that's not Gucci Fresh and fine. That is, that is pure not. That's, <clears throat> and so I have taken it upon myself out of him not manning up and not doing what he needs to do to get help to talk to his parents, to talk to the people around him in his friend circle, and the friend circle that we had together. Like, I took that time, I took that, that chance, and I was like, I'm gonna talk to them, I'm gonna tell them, because there's no way I can do this on my own. And I was right, there was no way I could have done that on my own. And so now, what do we have? We have people going and we have people, um, I have people that are going to help me, you know, live this life, trying to help this boy with his self because he can't handle it, he can't do what he needs to do to get it done. He just can't. And I realized that after it took, after like a week of just being like, are you, when are you going to tell, when are you going to live up to what you said, which is he said he was going to tell his mom, his dad, you know, on his own because, you know, he's a whole man's, you know, more like he's a whole child. But, like, he was like, I'm going to tell them, don't worry, I got this, like, they'll know, 
and like literally I, I had to tell his mom through text like dude not cool first of all second of all I don't want to have to do that to you I don't want to have to babysit uh, a child all the time just because he can't do it himself <laughs> <clears throat> and I know you're like, that's kind of harsh, don't you think? No, because I just don't think it's harsh. Because uh, if you look at it, that's what happened. And you guys have to discern on which front you're going to take. Are you going to be like, oh, it's all Gucci fresh and fine when it's actually not? Or are you going to stand up for yourself and realize that <clears throat> cheating isn't okay if he get, if a guy gets away with it once he's going to continue the process because he's gonna think he's slick he's gonna think it's all Gucci fresh and fine when it's not and that's what I'm just trying to help my sisters out with and now guy and guys if you're like not if you're not in a healthy relationship with a girl like if you're not the one cheating but she's the one cheating bump it and get out of there because no one no one needs that no one needs all that hurt in their lives no one needs all the pain that people cause so I'm gonna, this is gonna be the end of why I hate people, part three, part four, my bad, uh, I'm dying. So, if you guys liked the contents of this video and want to see more of this series, please like and comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to see what I upload and hit that notification bell to get, you know, notifications of my new uploads. Remember, I upload every Monday and Friday now, and hopefully I can keep that schedule. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!